Hi there guys, I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech and this is a comparison between Moto M and the Z2 Plus. Both the phones are priced very closely but offer completely different things. Now if you're looking for a simple answer, you can directly jump to the conclusion. Now let's look at the comparison. In terms of design, we have two different packages. Moto M comes with a complete metal build and a 2.5D curved glass on the front. And yes, it looks stunning and feels good to hold. Z2 Plus comes with a glass build. We have glass panel on the back and front and we have fiberglass frame holding the phone. Both are good looking and come with their own problems. Like Moto M is slippery and Z2 Plus is fingerprint magnet. So you can choose the best one yourself based on your preference. Both the mobiles come with all the basic sensors like proximity, compass, gyroscope. We also have notification LED, OTG support. Both the phones support dual SIM with dual 4G and come with OLT out of the box. But Moto M comes with a hybrid SIM slot and supports SD card up to 128 GB. But on Z2 Plus, we can use two SIMs, but we can't insert an SD card. Both the phones come with USB Type-C port, but Z2 Plus has a USB 3.0 port and Moto M has a USB 2.0 port. So transfer speeds are better on Z2 Plus. Both the phones come with fingerprint scanner at different positions and both are fast and accurate. Moto M has it on the back and all you can do is unlock the phone. There are no additional gestures or features. Z2 Plus has it on the front. It's equally fast and accurate, but this is not just a button. It's a fingerprint scanner, a capacitive button and a physical button all baked into a single button. It is also called as a multifunctional button and you can configure it like you want. You can touch it to go back, press it to go to home screen, touch and hold, you can do a press and hold, you can swipe on it to switch between applications. It's really a very cool button. For some reason, if you don't want to use it, you can disable it and use the on-screen buttons too. So in terms of hardware, both are evenly matched, but I would say Z2 Plus is the winner because of the additional features. Both the phones come with different form factors. Moto M has a 5.5 inch Full HD display and it will be great for media consumption, playing games, watching videos and for people who want bigger phones. Z2 Plus comes with a 5 inch Full HD display protected by a Corning Gorilla Glass 3 and it will be great for single handed usage. Because of the difference in size, Z2 Plus is 14 grams lighter than Moto M. In terms of color reproduction, viewing angles, both are good, but Z2 Plus gives you more options to tweak your display and a night mode to protect your eyes. You can select the winner of this round based on your preference of screen size. Z2 Plus comes with a 13 megapixel camera on the rear with f2.2 aperture, face detection autofocus, continuous autofocus and an LED flash. On the front we have the 8 megapixel camera with f2.0 aperture. Moto M comes with a 16 megapixel camera with f2.0 aperture, face detection autofocus and dual LED flash. On the front we have the 8 megapixel camera. In terms of camera performance, Moto M does a better job with wide angle lenses, better sharpness and good dynamic range. And Z2 Plus gives you the option to record 4K at 30fps. If you want a better camera to take pictures more, Moto M will be better and if you want slow motion 4K video recording, Z2 Plus will be better. Winner of this round will be Z2 Plus. Z2 Plus comes with the latest and greatest Snapdragon 820 processor and Moto M comes with the MediaTek Helio P15 processor. Both the phones come in two variants with 3GB RAM and 32GB internal storage and 4GB RAM and 64GB internal storage with a price difference of 2000 rupees. These are the benchmark scores. And as you can see, Z2 Plus is twice more powerful than Moto M. Now, if you don't play games, you don't need all that performance, but if you want a long lasting phone, then Z2 Plus is better. Gaming experience will be similar to benchmark scores. On Z2 Plus, we can play any game without lag and on Moto M, high-end games lag a little and upcoming games like Asphalt 9 and Modern Combat 6 might lag a lot. So if you plan on playing a lot of high-end games, Z2 Plus is the best choice. Now this is where Moto M wins. Both the phones come with Android Marshmallow out of the box, but Moto M will come with pure stock Android and Z2 Plus comes with a skinned version called the UI. In terms of raw performance, Z2 Plus is the winner. It installs apps quickly, opens big apps like Facebook, Instagram, much faster than Moto M. But the overall user experience and responsiveness is better on Moto M. Apart from the multifunctional button, we don't have any fancy software features on Z2 Plus. Both the phones will get NuGet update, but Moto M will get it much sooner. You can choose the winner of this round based on what you like, but I would say Moto M wins this round.
there isn't anything wrong with the software experience of Z2 Plus, but it just feels unfinished. You can check out my review on Z2 Plus for complete information about the software experience. So at the end, if you want a pure stock Android experience, then Moto M is the winner. And if you don't mind the UI experience, if you need just the performance, Z2 Plus is the winner in terms of software too. Both the phones come with a mono speaker at the bottom. On the Moto M, we have the audio jack at the top and on Z2 Plus, we have it at the bottom. Moto M has Dolby Atmos sound enhancement and Z2 Plus doesn't have any such enhancement. Audio experience via speakers and audio jack is slightly better on Moto M. Speaker is louder than Z2 Plus and audio experience on headset is very clean without distortion even at high volume. Z2 Plus gives you more of a standard audio experience. Nothing good or bad to talk about. So in the audio department, I would say Moto M does a better job than Z2 Plus. Z2 Plus comes with a 3500mAh battery and Moto M comes with a 3000mAh battery. Due to the smaller screen size and bigger battery, Z2 Plus will obviously last longer than Moto M. Besides this advantage, Z2 Plus supports Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0. So if you have a Quick Charge Power Adapter or a Xiaomi Mi Power Bank Pro, it can charge quickly. Moto M doesn't have any quick charging or turbocharging technology. With both the phones, we get normal 10 watts power adapters and Z2 Plus takes around 2 hours to charge and Moto M takes 90 minutes to charge completely. If you use a quick charger, then Z2 Plus takes less than 90 minutes. So winner of this round will be Z2 Plus because of the bigger battery and quick charge support. Screen size and performance will be the primary deciding factors among these two phones. If you want a powerhouse with small form factor, some unique features and best value for money, then buy Z2 Plus. By the way, this is the only phone with the best in class performance and a smaller form factor. So if you are really looking for a smaller phone, then it doesn't get any better than this phone. Now if you want a bigger screen, premium metal build, stock Android experience with better cameras and most importantly, if you are a regular user, you can definitely buy Moto M. If you are picky about brands, then you can go with Moto M, it's a good choice too. Now if I were you, I'll buy the Z2 Plus. It's insanely powerful than Moto, great value for money and routing doesn't void warranty. Now I personally hate the ZUI, so I'll probably flash a custom ROM or use a different launcher and try to ignore it as much as possible. So there you go guys, this is a complete comparison of Z2 Plus and Moto M. If you have any comments, complaints or feedback, feel free to let me know by commenting below this video. And if you like this video, hit that like button and if you don't, do hit that dislike button and let us know why. If you haven't subscribed to our channel already, do subscribe and stay tuned to us to see more cool videos on tech. I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech signing off, have a nice day.